Hi, I am Matthew. First, before starting this Caribbean series video, I'd like to ask you all to look down at the bottom right of your screen, hit the subscribe buttons, and leave comments. So you don't miss more amazing videos coming to the Stardust channel. Today, the Stardust channel will return to the Caribbean Islands series with another fantastic video. Watch the Stardust channel take you to another genuinely wonderful location in the Caribbean. This time as the town is Phillipsburg on the island of St. Martin which again shows one more time the beauty of the Caribbean islands. In this video production, Stardust Channel takes you to Phillipsburg, with its incredible culture history, and the smallest island with two countries in the Caribbean islands. Sit back and enjoy the video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe and like buttons, so you don't miss the next video. We greatly appreciate you watching the Stardust Channel. Thank you. Phillipsburg, St. Martin. Excursion in the Eastern Caribbean, you're probably going to invest energy in Phillipsburg, St. Martin, so we should investigate the best activities. European refinement meets the warm, easygoing nature of the Caribbean on the little and delightful island of St. Martin. This well-known objective in the Eastern Caribbean is tracked down in the Lesser Antilles archipelago. Love that this journey objective won't simply cover activities in Phillipsburg, St. Martin on the Dutch side but also a few marvelous things on the French side. St. Martin is a world record holder for being the littlest island on the planet to have two countries. St. Martin, as called by the Dutch and St. Martin by the French, is a 37 square miles island that includes all the appeal of the Caribbean. The island has stunning fine sand seashores, beguiling European style towns, and green moving slopes in its setting. What's more, it's home to various plants and creature species, remembering the most extensive assortment of butterflies for the Caribbean. This, combined with its occupants shifting societies, makes it the ideal voyage objective in the Antilles. While cruising to St. Martin, you will get to appreciate the two societies and customs of the Dutch and French as you openly cross the boundary between these two countries living next to each other on the island. Hope to partake in a combination of water sports experiences, investigation visits, tasty Caribbean-style French cooking, and a perfect oceanside day. Also, regardless of whether it works out, the island has a lot of attractions that help spread out the majority. Oh, get around the island, you will require a vehicle, and fortunately, transport is promptly accessible toward the finish of the short dock. There are water taxis, vehicles, cable cars, transports, and, surprisingly, ATVs at the vehicle stand. Getting a taxi, leased vehicle, or other transportation method is simple in St. Martin. Also, the public authorities normalize the best of the multitude of taxi charges. Investigate the town of Phillipsburg. Before taking a taxi to visit the island, it's ideal to begin with a short stroll through the nearby town of Phillipsburg. It takes 10 to 20 minutes to get to the core of Phillipsburg's vivid city, found one far from the harbor. You can do this by going for a picturesque stroll on the Phillipsburg promenade or going touring and window shopping on the waterfront road a block behind the footpath. Phillipsburg brings a ton of Dutch appeal to the table, and there is consistently a merry state of mind on their finish of the island. Appreciate delightful shopping adornments, inspect extraordinary rum beverages produced using intriguing guava berries or hit the gambling clubs and take a stab. Let the rich smell of Caribbean cooking styles guide you to a diner, and snatch a light meal before continuing with the other day's exercises. Downtown is a bustling place, a significant piece is the little electronic stores. The direct ocean side you will go over on the island is Extraordinary Cove, which is promptly open from the footpath. You can decide to stop here, unwind, sprinkle a little, and take in the perspectives on the flawless island. In any case, if you are a more daring soul, there is much to see and do on both the Dutch and French sides. Incredible Cove Ocean Side The direct ocean side you will go over on the island is Extraordinary Cove, which is promptly open from the footpath. This is the most practical ocean side for a cruiser not wanting to meander a long way from the voyage terminal as it's found relatively close to the journey port. Incredible Cove Oceanside is a two-mile extended length of white sandy oceanside situated at the core of Phillipsburg, around a 15-20 minute stroll from the voyage terminal. Pass the vendors at the Oceanside's entry, attempting to sell you bundles and get more ideal arrangements once near the ocean. Most structures incorporate complimentary beverages for seat and umbrella rentals. Go through your day at Incredible Sound Oceanside, partaking in the shallow, quiet, clear waters. Furthermore, if you want a break, the best obligation free shopping in Phillipsburg is not far off. A quick visit to the island with every one of its features is the ideal way to investigate St. Martin. The visit should be possible through a boat outing around the island's shore with brief stops in significant traveler regions. 
It should likewise be possible ashore through transports or cabs. You can do this through a trip booked with your journey line or a do-it-yourself visit. If you decide to investigate all alone, you can take a taxi at the taxi stand toward the end of the dock. The cabs charge one fixed cost and the stunt here is to go in an enormous gathering of something like eight individuals to bring down the expense per head. These drivers slash guides will take you on a directed visit around the island, beginning from the Dutch side and then to the French side halting momentarily at well-known vacation destinations. On this visit, you will glean some significant experience of the fascinating history of the island and the entertaining stories on how the two countries settled on where to partition the island. You will get to do a ton of touring, so have your cameras prepared to catch those perfect shots of the magnificence and miracle of the spot. Wild Guava Berry Alcohol Tasting One ought to likely begin the day with a sober mind, yet this is complicated when you visit perhaps of the most well-known put on the Dutch side, the Guava Berry Alcohol Retail Shop. Rum isn't the primary motivation to see this retail store, but to become familiar with the town's pioneer history. To hear old stories of how the rum was made in individuals' homes from wild uncommon guava berries tracked down on the island. The retail store likewise features and sells an assortment of remarkable Caribbean flavors. When a visit through the retail store is done, you are invited to test different rum and guava berry mixers. Once finished at the Dutch side, celebrate visiting two nations inside only minutes as you move the line over to the French side. Investigate the lovely hilly side of the French turf and visit its capital, Marigot Town. It is the most active put on the French side. You will search for many stylish French designs and unique French trinkets here. Also, you ought to have reason to shop here assuming you have extravagant European originator brands because the costs of things here are 40% less expensive than at European retail outlets. Visit the open market marketplace and examine until you find what you are searching for or that grabs your attention's consideration. Other than that, you can likewise attempt the popular French food. Appreciate impeccably made French Caribbean foods, including newly created loaves. Carry on with the existence of extravagance, complexity, and delight while you feast like an imperial around here. Possibly be prepared to leave behind a little fortune when everything is finished. Appreciate extraordinary perspectives, Besides shopping and eating, the best thing to do while on the French side climbs up the green slopes in its experience. One such pitch only a few yards from Marigot's bustling focus has one of St. Martin's verifiable landmarks, Port Louis. Take the mountainside flight of stairs up the lofty slope to get to the stronghold at the top. Everything will work out once you see the perspective on the island and its encompassing neighbors from the worthwhile, encompassing view stood to you up there. While still on the French side, Visit the most well-known ocean side on St. Martin, situate ocean side. The ocean side sure satisfies this recognition and doesn't dishearten. Graced with a significant length of fine white sand ocean and clear blue waters, situate ocean is perhaps the most lovely ocean in the Caribbean. Snatch an ocean side towel, umbrella, or lawn chair and partake in a perfect ocean side day at this spot. Sluggish under the unmistakable blue skies and warm weather conditions, tasting cool mixed drinks. Notwithstanding, being that this is a French ocean side, be prepared to experience naturalists in its discretionary clothing segment. Visit the chill and tomfoolery, Loterie Homestead. Visit the Loterie Homestead track down on one side of Pic Paradis. It is a beautiful retreat spotted with delightful wooden cabanas tucked away among the trees. It includes an enormous pool, eateries, and huge excursion playgrounds. This is where you need to take a massive gathering of companions or family for a pleasant home base. There is a good time for all ages, presented by the zipline courses, climbs, and boat trips offered here. The zipline course at this ranch, named the Superfly Zone ought not be missed. It runs from the top of Pic Paradis, the most noteworthy point on the island, to the ranch beneath. For the lively and brave individual, climbing in St. Martin is a should do. Over the Loterie Ranch are two perception decks on top of the mountain at the brilliant Pic Paradis point. The most elevated point on St. Martin, Leave through the backwoods and appreciate all-encompassing perspectives on the environmental factors, including the adjoining island of Anguilla. You'll require an oversized shower and sunscreen while visiting these Caribbean objections. Considering all-encompassing perspectives, look at the Flying Dutchman Zip Line course at the Rockland Bequest, which is situated in Emilio Wilson's home. Partake in the rich history behind this old ranch domain. Then, at that point, take a well-known sky ride, a chairlift suspended from a flight link many feet over the ground. We posted about the kickoff of this new zip line shore journey here. This lift will take you on an unwinding and beautiful ride up the mountain. 
you will get a short direction before getting lashed onto the zip line link and starting the 1050 feet plummet down the hill. Partake in the pleasant landscape of the vast blue waters and the lavish green field as you zoom your direction down the mountain. When the Flying Dutchman course is finished, get onto one more invigorating ride on the yacht ride, a slide running down the remainder of the mountain up to the ranch. One more method for seeing this island is on an ATV. Take a visit through the island on top of these strong bicycles, exploring the rough territory on soil through the woods regions and on the rugged shores. Partake in the adventure of the test as you drive at maximum speed, embracing the excellence of St. Martin. Have you furtively wanted to scuba jump and have never been able to do so? Then don't pass up the valuable chance to do as such in Phillipsburg, St. Martin. Most voyage lines and nearby visit administrators offer a snubba trip for plunging novices and beginners, where you are permitted to jump without a tank, yet with an air pipe fastened to air tanks on the outer layer of the water. Many swimming and jumping spots around St. Martin have clear warm waters that permit light to taste, making them ideal for this movement. Most of the swimming is finished on Simpson Strait, viewed as on the Dutch side or Mullet Sound Ocean side neighboring Maho Ocean side. Butterfly Ranch If you are a nature darling, you won't want to miss the Butterfly Homestead at St. Martin, concealed amid the mountains on the French side. Butterfly nature saves north of 100 types of butterflies from wherever on the planet. Appreciate interfacing with these lovely manifestations as they complement and lay kisses around you. The best opportunity to see is promptly in the first part of the day when youthful butterflies rise out of their covers. Maho Oceanside Perhaps the most well-known thing to do in St. Martin is to watch planes land at Princess Julia Worldwide Air Terminal. You could ask why this is thus, and well, it's for a substantial explanation. The air terminal is settled between a mountain on one side and an ocean side on the other. Maho's ocean side adjusts impeccably with the runway at Princess Julia's air terminal. Hence, it manages the cost of individuals the opportunity to look at the gut of Goliath 747s as they fly very low over the ocean side to contact the ground at the runway. That makes sense of the bizarre photographs you could have seen of planes flying nearly a careful distance above individuals on an ocean side. That ocean side is Maho Ocean Side in St. Martin. Make a point to swing by here before the finish of your outing. Take some photographs and recoil at the mind-boggling sensation of getting sandblasted. Mullet Strait Ocean Side. That is why you should head on to the neighboring Mullet Cove Ocean Side close by, which is protected from the commotion and exercises of the air terminal. It has a beautiful stretch of sand and clear waters that are ideally suited for swimming and other water sports. Boat excursions to Anguilla. Be that as it may, on the off chance that you extravagate more private and disconnected seashores, you can contract a boat to the nearby island of Anguilla. Anguilla is supplied with virgin seashores that include new white sandy stretches. It's the best spot to partake in a perfect oceanside day. A boat move requires 30 minutes to get to the island. Pinel Island. Pinel Island is one of St. Martin's tricks of the trade. It is situated on a range strait and is opened by boat from the parkway. This is a must-visit island while on the French side of St. Martin. It has delicate white seashores, extraordinary climbing open doors, and a lot of swimming. The island includes probably the best seashores in St. Martin. You can visit the main beach or take a 5-10 minutes hike to the deserted side of the island for more beaches, note they might be clothing optional. The far left of the beach offers excellent snorkeling. At least three restaurants on the island serve everything from seafood to barbecue and local specials. For just a $6 per person boat ride, you can enjoy yourself on this remote island. Another hidden gem in St. Martin is Parrotville Bird Sanctuary. This is the place to go if you are looking for a non-touristy one-on-one experience with nature. The sanctuary features many species of colorful parrots, whom you can feed with unique cups of seeds while knowledgeable, caring guides tell you more about them. The sanctuary also has a herb garden where you can learn a lot about the herbs of the island and a cool small museum showing relics of the past century. On your way to Orient Bay Beach, this bird paradise is located on Bishop Hill Road in the Belvedere region. Before beginning your tour of the place, you will go through an information corridor where you will learn about each of the birds from photograph displays. The Rotary Lookout Point is another secret gem on the island of St. Martin. It's a magnificent lookout point at the Coralita site, just 10 minutes from Orient Bay. The lookout platform has information boards that are pretty helpful in capturing the protected nature reserve's essence. From here, you get panoramic views of the bay, the town, and faraway islands. At the bay, the waters are shallow and the clearest you will ever see. This is a great place to swim or play in the waters, even for young kids. 
There are picnic areas at this shoreline, so you have plenty to do on this secret gem courtesy of the Rotary Club of St. Martin. Prickly Pear is a small uninhabited island west of Anguilla. This pretty place has fantastic snorkeling, and it's a lovely island getaway with a picturesque tropical aura. Enjoy swimming, snorkeling, and exploring. Afterward, enjoy a hearty lunch on the beach and sunbathe a while before you are whisked back to the main island. Conveniently located in Phillipsburg are 12 casinos where you can try your luck at the slot machine, crap, blackjack, roulette, and many others. These European-style casinos closely resemble those in Las Vegas but with a touch of the Caribbean atmosphere, bringing a laid-back and relaxed atmosphere. Mix things up in Phillipsburg. Visit an art gallery. Besides beach bumming, water activities, shopping, and dining, St. Martin is also a place that inspires. Enjoy a visually enjoyable tour of the island's art galleries located on both sides of the island. The island's beauty has inspired artists in St. Martin to create some of the most stunning pieces of art you will ever see. Legallian Beach Orient Bay Beach can get pretty crowded when cruise ships are in port. Legallian is the beach if you want a more secluded, kid-friendly beach. Located just a few meters southeast of Orient Beach, this beach features crystal clear, warm, shallow waters that are great even for kids. The coral reef a few yards from the beach acts as a barrier that protects the pools from rough surf, making it perfect for swimming, snorkeling, floating, or just wading in. The beach itself is a wide swath of pristine white sandy beaches. This is a lovely beach for a picnic, but please pack everything you need, clean up after yourselves, and don't leave any valuables in your car. Yoda Guy Movie Exhibit Star Wars Movie Fans are in for a treat in St. Martin. Of all the places to find a Star Wars museum with original scripts and relics, you find one in Phillipsburg at the Yoda Guy Movie Exhibit. Nick Maley, otherwise known as that Yoda Guy, one of the creators of Yoda from Star Wars, created a sci-fi movie memorabilia museum. In this museum, he showcases relics from 54 movies he worked on and others from his colleagues, memorabilia from films such as Hellraiser, Alien, and of course, the Star Wars sagas. Learn about this island's incredible history at the St. Martin Museum on Front Street in Phillipsburg. Though the museum is small, it's a history buff's paradise, filled with rich island history from as early as 500 BC. It shows artifacts, curved items from the Arawaks, old photographs, and essential memorabilia of the colonial governments of the island. A visit to St. Martin is impossible without tasting the island's cuisine. This cuisine won't disappoint either. Influenced by French and Creole cooking, expect to enjoy a wide array of delicious, mouth-watering dishes. Sample popular Caribbean treats such as Johnny Cakes, Callaloo, Conk, Fish Fritters, Lobster, and more. The best place to experience the island's dishes is Grand Case, Merry Go on the French side. If you want to dine like a local, this is the place. Martin's Natural Reserve St. Martin's Nature Reserve covers 3,060 hectares on the island's northeast side. The most significant part of this reserve, about 2,900 hectares, is offshore and includes the coastal outline and the water. This nature reserve has a variety of lush plants, birds, and marine life. The biodiversity represented on this side of the island is simply incredible. Be one with nature, visit the great outdoors of St. Martin and enjoy a truly unique tropical paradise. Off the beaten path adventures. Leave the touristy spots of St. Martin slash Martin and discover the island's hidden gems in an off the beaten path adventure. Whether kayaking, biking, swimming, or hiking, TriSport knows how to show you the good stuff. Go hiking in Guana Bay, where you are guaranteed to be the only one except your tour guides and goats. Or go mountain biking and experience something new while in Phillipsburg, St. Martin. Sea horseback ride. Check sea horseback riding off your bucket list. St. Martin has plenty of stables and healthy, well cared for horses to take you on a different island tour. Horseback riding excursions take you through the lush scenic countryside, along the island's shores, and into the water. It's a fantastic adventure, you learn about tropical plants, animals, and the island's history from friendly and charming guides. Then the climax comes when you enter the crystal clear ocean waters and start galloping around. This is a fun family bonding adventure that you will love. Private Catamaran Tour there are plenty of small islands to explore near St. Martin, and what better way than on a private yacht slash catamaran tour around the island. These tours take you to beautiful offshore islands such as St. Bart's and Tintamar for quality beach time and snorkeling. They highlight the island's beauty and give you a glimpse into the world below. St. Martin weather. Like most other Caribbean destinations, St. Martin experiences the tropical monsoon climate, where it's hot throughout the year. 
Temperature averages in the 80s, most sizzling from July to September and cold from December to April. June to December is the rainy season on the island, and this is also the hurricane season. Therefore, plan your trip to coincide with the weather you prefer to avoid disappointment with your journey. Top Public Beach Spots With its hypnotizing blue waters, radiant seashores, and energetic nightlife, St. Martin in the Caribbean Islands is commended as a superb holiday destination, particularly for people needing travel motivation. St. Martin has 37 different sandy seashores that you could browse, all furnished with their energy and idiosyncrasies. As a renowned traveler island, this open spot will give you the merited getaway you want. Be that as it may, among these plenty of sandy hills and perfect waters, we felt free to limit a rundown of the best seashores in St. Martin. Look at it and partake in your Caribbean experience without limit. Mullet Bay Mullet Bay is great for explorers searching for a low-key ocean side with a loosening up feel. With its excellent quiet waters and sandy shores, it is one of the top seashores in St. Martin. Surfing is possibly the best thing to do in St. Martin, Mullet Sound has northern breezes, making it an excellent spot for surfers. This is the spot to relax and spend time with your companions while tasting a pina colada by the shoal. Mullet Bay might get too bustling at the end of the week, so we recommend you visit during the workdays to augment your unwinding by the ocean side. Tintamar Island Situated at the northern bits of St. Martin, Tintamar Island is a segregated heaven unlike elsewhere. This island is a stunning objective, with the gentlest delicate drifts, turquoise waters, and the freshest cool air breezes. The island is likewise a popular spot for climbing and investigating the enchanting red precipices dispersed throughout the area. This island is a popular swimming spot known as a piece of the normal hold of Holy Person Martin. Try not to pass up the once-in-a-lifetime chance to investigate the seagoing magnificence on a deeper level. Grand Case Beach Clear waters, incredible skyline, and the tranquil vibe of the Case Beach side make it a beneficial objective. The quiet waters on this ocean side legitimize its spot as the best ocean side for swimming in St. Martin. Moreover, there is a nearby fishing town by the ocean side, giving a subtle energy unique to the lively nightlife of different seashores in St. Martin. It's easy to go through a day investigating this phenomenal ocean side and pack some points in hunger while evaluating the neighborhood cooking. Orient Bay Beach Need to have that French eau naturelle mood? On the Upper East shoreline of St. Martin is Orient Bay Beach, the ideal place to get away. Known to be a most loved spot among superstars, this exceptional oceanside features plenty of cafes, lodgings, and shops by the beachfront, making it helpful for travelers to go keepsake shopping. The waves might get too high on windy days, observe this. Weather conditions estimating application might assist with guaranteeing that your visit to the ocean side will be perfect. Kupakoi Beach Travelers will find this spot not quite the same as other St. Martin seashore since it is partitioned into more modest beaches with encompassing limestone precipices. It gives a semi-private energy but isn't completely separated, giving you a public spot to walk and luxuriate in the sun. The dusk in Kupakoi Ocean side is bewildering, and we propose you spend it at the bar while hanging tight for the dynamic mood around evening time. We suggest registering to the incredible manners by the precipice, and you'll undoubtedly partake in your experience with a lofty perspective on the blue waters. Friars Bay Beach Friars Bay Beach travelers will find this spot not quite the same as other St. Martin Seashore since it is partitioned into more modest shores with encompassing limestone precipices. It gives a semi-private energy but isn't completely separated, giving you a public spot to walk and luxuriate in the sun. The dusk in Kupakoi Ocean side is bewildering, and we propose you spend it at the bar while hanging tight for the dynamic mood around evening time. We suggest registering to the incredible manners by the precipice, and you'll undoubtedly partake in your experience with a lofty perspective on the blue waters. Dawn Beach The Dawn Beach side is a pleasant place to get away, situated south of the St. Martin Line. Travelers who are morning people get to have a brief look at a stupendous nightfall, so make sure to early set your cautions. Bring your real stuff or pick to lease for swimming to guarantee you'll get the stunning perspective submerged in daybreak oceanside. Kim Sha Beach There's dependably an exuberant air in Kim Sha Beach, St. Martin. In the first part of the day, the delightful oceanside and the unmistakable sand enthrall the travelers to take a plunge. Water sports are also possible for the gathering who searches for day thrills. When the clock hits the hour of nightfall, that is where the blazing lights, enraged environment, and nightlife begins. Kim Sha Oceanside is the spot for party participants who need a great time. This oceanside offers seats and umbrellas by the shore, 
which is terrific when you're in the temperament to get a tan and loll out in the sun. Little Bay Beach Little Bay Beach is known for its significant length of white sand, quiet waters, and fantastic swimming exercises. Known to be close to the incomparable strait, you could make a side outing to encounter this ocean side's significance. This objective is additionally known to be the most secure ocean side for youngsters since the water is quiet and seagoing exercises are generally accessible nearby. It's a delightful ocean side with an extraordinary assortment of fish in its biological system, and we recommend evaluating the swimming exercises for entertainment. Great Bay Beach on the off chance that you're on a Caribbean voyage, extraordinary Great Bay Beach is an excellent visit for jet setters since it is situated at the pinnacle of Phillipsburg. Visited by travelers from all over, this oceanside is a superb objective for all ages. Here, you could attempt the nearby cooking and fill your hunger with the flavorful food in the various eateries accessible on the spot. The incomparable Narrows Oceanside is very much kept up with objective, complete with white sandy rises and clear waters, which is why it's among our top picks regarding the different decent seashores in St. Martin. Try not to pass up visiting the various gift shops where you can catch knickknacks and memorabilia to recollect your Caribbean excursion here in extraordinary sound ocean. Indigo Bay Beach Indigo Bay Beach is well known for its quality credits, making it famous among travelers. It's likewise the ideal spot assuming you're searching for a long time and broad seaside seashores and clear waters. Indigo Bay Beach Narrows offers various exercises. You won't ever run out of activities from water sports, swimming, and sunbathing. Whether searching for a pleasant outing on the ocean front or a day with fun activities, this spot is most undoubtedly charming. Kayaking is likewise accessible on this island, where you can paddle across the whole of the waters, a must-attempt movement for all ages. Guana Bay Guana Bay Beach is in transit to Phillipsburg, making it simple for day vacationers to take a diversion and have a great time at this little ocean. It is sensibly private and not swarmed, giving you adequate time for unwinding and sunbathing. This ocean side is an incredible spot for swimming through the stunning coral reefs and waterways. You could bring your umbrellas and mat for picnics and sunbathing and set aside some cash while partaking in this ocean side's conveniences. Oyster Pond with its decent skyline, extraordinary view, and lavish cafes, Oyster Pond is one of the prettiest beaches in St. Martin. Not only will the ocean side blow your mind, but the view, including the nightfalls and moored yachts, will produce a postcard memory on the off chance you travel to Clam Lake. There are manors on the rocky side, fun visits to attempt, and touring exercises on this island. It is a positive attempt if you're out traveling to the Caribbean. Clam Lake is great, assuming you're searching for a spot that oozes serenity. It's the ideal oceanside spot if you believe a calm area should do without the touristy energy. Burgo Beach This one for travelers who care for experiences for you. Burgo Beach, situated in the southwest heart of St. Martin, is the spot for surfers. The dusk of this location is quite possibly the gorgeous one we've at any point seen. That angle alone would make you need to visit this spot, and it likewise makes Burgo Oceanside one of the most mind-blowing oceanside objections on the island. St. Bart's is just 30 minutes from this ocean side, and we propose you agree with a particular position trip there to finish your ideal Caribbean getaway. Divi Beach. Clear waters, excellent ocean side, and fine sandy shores, how could you possibly want anything more in Divi Beach? Flaunting incredible marine life, and you'd get a brief look at it on the off chance you select to take a stab at swimming. This is the spot for travelers who need a calm and loosening up excursion. Local people are likewise well disposed and enchanting to the sightseers, making DV Beach a warm place to remain. If you're accompanying children who love water exercises, you could evaluate their swimming and submerged diversion for a lower cost than different seashores in St. Martin. Maho Bay Beach Could it be said that you are searching for an extraordinary encounter by the ocean side that is open and helpful? Visit Maho Bay Beach, which is arranged right behind the Princess Juliana Global Air Terminal. The sand is, to be sure white, the waves are apparent, and it gives you a tomfoolery experience with the planes overhead. Say Maho. When the planes fly over your head, it's a custom on the island. The above plane landing makes it one of the most famous seashores in St. Martin. Make sure to load some goggles or eye defensive stuff with you since when the bigger planes take off from the air terminal, keep an eye out for sand showers on the shore might happen. Bay Rouge. Effectively one of our number one objections among the best seashores in St. Martin. Bay Rouge offers long broad shores and flawless calm waters. Bay Rouge, you'll expect what a Caribbean beach would resemble. Here, the oceanside and landscape are a complete postcard second, a great spot that will give you the best excursion of all time. 
The central region of the ocean side is typically where young people, couples, and families would go. The right part is where families and youngsters would bond through various sporting exercises, and the furthest left region is the grown-up division of the ocean side implied for bare sunbathing. Stardust Channel hopes that you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. We also appreciate it if you leave comments. We greatly appreciate you watching this video and the Stardust Channel. Until the next video, thanks for watching.